be strong. Holistic Beauty RN. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're an OG, oldie but a goodie, welcome back. So I know I've been MIA for so long and I am so sorry, you guys. I've been so busy, just so much things going on. So today's video is actually going to kind of be like an update type of video as far as like what's been going on with me, kind of slash like girl talk, or I don't want to even call it girl talk. I'm sure guys are here too. Guys, welcome. Girls, welcome. <laughs> but just kind of like a sit and chat, eat. Got some Panera bread over here. Um, my half a, what is this, a Chipotle barbecue chicken sandwich. And then I've got my um, salad here. I'm trying to figure out what's the name of the salad. It is a, this is a smokehouse, smokehouse barbecue chicken sandwich. And then the Southwest Chili Ranch chicken salad so I've got to get my proteins and stuff in because that's one of the things that's been going on with me so um, just kind of an update for those of you who are new my name is Stephanie I'm a family nurse practitioner aka advanced practice registered nurse I currently work um, two jobs so I work my nurse practitioner job at an urgent care facility slash primary care we see patients for urgent care matters and primary care and then I also still work my registered nurse position so um, there I just kind of work like a spinal spinal cord injury slash neuro um, type of unit so I get the best of both worlds working as a nurse practitioner but still being able to get my feet wet um, in an acute care setting in a hospital uh, working as a bedside RN um, so yeah, just to kind of update you guys as far as what's been going on. I've also got my little Starbucks here. Don't mind me. I'm in my car right now doing my chat. So sorry if I seem a little unorganized. I kind of have a little tight space to work with here. But just to kind of catch you guys up and fill you in as far as um, what's been going on. It's been probably about maybe a month or so since I've done my last upload. I'm so sorry, you guys. Thank you for hanging in there with me and for being interested to even come in and see this video. Um, don't forget to give it a like and a thumbs up. Uh, but yeah, as far as what's been going on with me, so I've just kind of been really focused on health and well-being. So I've started a workout regimen where I'm going four days a week. I'm on a strict diet where I'm counting uh, what they call macros. So your macronutrients are like what's considered the things like carbohydrates, uh, your fat, protein, and calories. So everything that I eat is measured and accounted for. Even yes, this Panera bread and salad sandwich um, is all accounted for because <laughs> they have the nutrition facts. So I'm able to take what they give me and um, go with that and include it in my macros for the day um, and then of course my black coffee that has no macros no calories so I'm okay with that who doesn't like a little quick pick-me-up especially in the middle of a 12-hour shift right <laughs> yeah so that's what's been going on with me I've just really been you know doing my workout thing been doing my diet thing and just really trying to get myself together as far as like you know my weight and stuff goes I wasn't I know a lot of people say girl what well, weight you didn't have any weight on you you skinny blah 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 it's like um well not necessarily uh before I had my baby I was about 15 10 to 15 pounds smaller than I am now and not even just that but I knew that I wanted to gain more muscle mass tone definition in my body I just wanted you know I had a certain way of how I wanted to look so I said you know what I got to put in the work to achieve it because as we all know you know you got to put in the work to get the results you know nothing comes easy anything that actually means something is worth fighting for and it's going to require some type of sacrifice so the sacrifice in this case was working out four days a week, which I'm doing. And as a matter of fact, after I'm done with my 12 hour shift, guess where I'm gonna be at? The gym, hitting them weights. And today is leg day, so you know what that means. Lower body day. 
Um, but yeah, so that is what I have been doing. Of course, still working my two jobs. Right now, I'm on a break from my urgent care job right now. So it's just been like a lot of you know, screening people for COVID because we're still, you know, at that point where obviously the pandemic is still existent. It's still real. It's still happening and, pre and very present. Um, so we have a lot of people that come in for screening, you know, because we offer both the rapid and PCR. But then aside from that, we have people walking in for other conditions, UTIs. Uh, the other day I had a two-year-old come in for a second degree burn on her arm. So, you know, things like that. It, it just, you know, you see some of everything. But yeah, you know, work has been going great. I'm just so excited for, you know, the opportunity, for the experience that I'm having. Even though my clinic, it is still a fairly new clinic. It just opened up in October. So um, we don't have as many walk-ins as we do. Like COVID cases, obviously a lot of people, you know, nowadays COVID is like the thing. You know, everybody wants to get tested. Especially, you know, with the holidays coming up and, you know, different events, weather's getting nicer, people going out, people traveling, you know, people want to call the test. So, of course, we're pretty busy with that. Um, on any given day, on average, I can see up to like 30 patients. So, you know, I'm screening them all. Not all of them may be COVID. Maybe a couple walk-ins are in there. Um, but still, 30 patients. When you're charting all on, on all 30, whether it's a telehealth or a walk-in or whatever, it's still charting and it still works. So... Um, but luckily I've down pack a little regimen and if you guys want to know more about how I kind of stay organized during my charting I have a video that I'm gonna link for you guys so feel free to check that out I think it's here or there I don't know but it's gonna be linked so you guys can kind of get some ideas on how I kind of stay organized and ensure that I get all the pertinent information that I need from the patient um, but yeah basically that's what's been going on with me um, just really um, trying my best to um, use every case as a learning experience, right? Um, so I, 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 I don't know, how do you guys feel? Do you guys want me to do videos on like, sorry, I keep looking down. I'm like dealing with a messy salad here. Look at my hands. So I'm like really trying to like keep everything together so that it doesn't get all over the place. But yeah, mm. are you guys interested in me doing videos about like different case scenarios of like patients that I see, complex patients, or maybe your typical patients? You know, for all my, uh, fellow nurses, nurse practitioners out there. How do you guys feel about that? Because I've had some pretty good cases that I would love to share um, that I think would be a good learning experience for everybody. I like to put my sauce on the salad, cover it, shake, shake, shake to kind of disperse that sauce a little better. But yeah, tell me how you guys feel. <laughs> Girl, someone, she all it up, shaking something up. Car moving and vibrating and stuff. What's going on in there? She having a party? But yeah, if you guys are interested in those type of videos, please feel free to let me know. But yeah, like I said, I just wanted to update you guys. You know, I, you know, the summer's coming up. You know, I, I'm going to um, some vacation, got some vacations planned in the next coming weeks. So I'm just trying to, your girl is trying to get her body together, you know, get her health tip together. Not even just for, obviously, you know, to have a toner look, but just for health health reasons right I want to you know lose the weight make sure my heart is healthy make sure I'm getting all my you know nutrients that I need to sustain myself so that is what I've been doing if you guys are really curious to know but and I just wanted to pop in and say hey to just kind of update you guys and let you know how, how I've been and I hope you guys have been doing great so let me know what type of videos you guys want to see I actually got a video coming up where I'm going to show you guys and demonstrate how to do a pap smear of course I've got my model and everything like that so it's not gonna be on a real person none of that none of that uh, but yeah that video is in the works and it's coming soon so you guys stay tuned for that um, but again that's pretty much what's been going on with me you guys I've just been you know working my two jobs really on my workout regimen you know family spending quality time I have that work-life balance which is so important it's so essential like you know because I mean I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate for those working in the medical, medical field or even not you know, when you are busy working, period, maybe you may be in school, whatever the case may be, it's like hard. Mm, mm, it's good. Real good. Avocado's so good. But it's hard to really like, you know, find a way to balance yourself and then be happy in it all. Like I'm one of those people where when I'm so busy, I get easily stressed. So I'm like, ah, it's too much going on. But you know, if you find a way, like a healthy outlet, things to kind of do to kind of help stress and relieve stress exercise is a good stress reliever for me 
but you know for some it may be reading relax relaxation meditating it's beautiful out here so going outside you know enjoying the breeze taking a nice walk things like that are good <laughs> but you know I've just really been in tune with trying to find that good work life balance so that I can do the things that I enjoy but not neglect the things that are priority and that are important in my life like family really finding a balance with that which I can honestly say that I feel like I'm at that point where I have that balance and I feel like I'm not going all over, all over the place feeling crazy or guilt tripping myself if I didn't have time to do something if I felt like I've been too busy at work and not spending enough time with family just making most of the time that I do have and spending with family so that I do know and I don't have to feel bad about being away and doing the other things that require my time and not feeling bad about it so I can honestly say that I'm at that point in my life where I feel like I have that healthy work-life balance and I'm able to do everything that I want and not have to feel like I'm sacrificing one thing for the next so I hope this video wasn't too chatty I'm still here I'm still thinking about you guys I'm still very much into like helping and inspiring and educating any way that I possibly can. Like I said, if you guys have any suggestions on any videos that you want to see coming, you know, in the near future, please drop some comments in the comment section below. I do read my comments and I do reply. So don't think that I won't. So I will see you guys in my next video. Until then, stay blessed, stay healthy, live, love, laugh, and learn. And I'll see you in my next one. Peace. Bye. Strong. Strong. Ooh. I'm gonna go